so what is food what is food what do you mean by food ha huh? nutrients what is food energy source of energy what is food food is life what is food whatever you eat you take what is food what is food makes your body right what is food what is food what is food ha huh? you eat right yes yeah so food in generic terms is something which you are consuming or drinking to keep our body system right that is what we call as food right we consume or drink why do we need food energy okay why do we need food why do we eat food survive for your body so why do we need food to enjoy mirti <laughs> bhaji okay so we need food right for what to jeene ke liye hum 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 khane ke liye jeete hain hum jeene ke hum jeene ke liye nahi khate hum khane ke liye jeete hain bas right so why do we need food so what is nutrition why do we need food first of all why do we need food energy is one thing why do we need food to live to survive why do we need food keep us healthy okay so do you know what is nutrition quality of food required amount of right food what is nutrition combination of proteins minerals vitamins carbohydrates fiber fat sugar carbohydrates okay so she is there so she is expert so she can we can listen to her now right so we say we need food we say we need food for energy we need food for surviving and we say we need food for so food also gives nutrition right so we know that if you eat raw food you get the highest ingredients of nutrition isn't it you get the raw enzymes the raw enzymes you get a lot of fiber you get a lot of vitamins you get pranic tatva the life force everything so why can't we all eat that why don't we eat that ha huh? you need taste yeah you need to kill yourself faster <laughs> so why don't you eat and go graze the grass is so nutritious you know grass and leaves there so much grown on the trees right and there are so much of grass around there you just take something and then eat it ha huh? if you practice it it is digestible sir it is if you practice it it is digestible the raw food the sprouts if you have sprouts you can eat it you juices you can drink it you can eat all the raw food that is the highest nutrition it is the best food in earth forget about grass and leaves you can at least eat on the thing why don't we do that because food whatever we are eating the so called we are fooling ourselves is food is for pleasure okay food is for pleasure and we are all under mass hypnosis what is that hypnosis mass hypnosis from the time you are born till the time you are de- on de- death bed we are all under hypnosis that you know you are surviving because of eating food you have to eat three meal a day okay 
you have to eat this much quantity so because you know we are all programmed our uh, family members our whole society has programmed us that you know without food we are not able to survive you know what happens the so called energy okay we are using our thermal plant this is what what is this called your stomach is called thermal plant okay and if you eat red color you will nourish your muladhara chakra if you eat orange color you are nourishing your swadishtana chakra if you eat uh, yellow color it is serving your manipuraka chakra greens serving your anahata right so same way every food that we eat has a color isn't it so there is something called energy it serves that particular chakra it per serves that particular energy system and i as a person i am a soul i am a supreme being i am a source of everything right and what i get out of food is energy what you are also is a energy when we didn't know solar system used to burn lot of coal and uh, thermal energy right wood and everything used to burn now everywhere there is a scarcity of coal so everyone has to convert to satya yuga satya yuga is what directly tapping the energy <laughs> right everyone is going hybrid everyone is going thermal uh, anti thermal so your thermal plant also you have to become hybrid now it will give you this and this <laughs> right the waste the pollutions right so very very important to understand and also the food we digest okay the so called we nutrition right there is nothing called as a nutrition there whatever you eat today any best of the best nutritionist any best of the best dietitian they cannot prescribe what is 100% nutrition what is the best food for you because the digestive system itself is based on your emotional situation based on your mental condition if you have gone for a picnic if you have eaten the best of the best food then anything that you eat is becomes a poison you know a nectar for you but if you are mentally not fit you have anxiety you have depression you have uh, too much of stress whatever you eat it converts into cholesterol whatever you eat it converts into acidity indigestion madam do you agree anxiety when the anxiety shoots up acidity hyperacidity acid reflux anxiety is directly proportional to acidity right so food again is subjective to your mental condition so there is nothing that you know we are all living in a myth that you know we are living because we are eating food it is a myth we are all programmed in a mass hypnosis that you know we have to eat food to survive we are surviving and living happily because you are recharging every night when you sleep you can find many people who have fasted for many many days but you cannot find many people who can live without sleeping okay when the mind cuts off right it is like a you know unconscious meditation right when the mind cuts off and we sleep we recharge every cell in the body gets relaxed the mind cuts off and then when you wake up in the morning then you get the charge to be in the day right that's how we are living it's not just because you know your emotions the taste and everything it's all we are eating because of our emotions we are eating because of our pleasure we are eating because of the enjoyment that we get out of it not because that we are going to get nutrition are you eating all the seven colors then how are you sure the how are you surviving how are you surviving all the chakras has to work right from top to bottom the seven chakras seven functions everything has to work how are you able to make it work you don't know what you are eating then most of it is red or maximum is yellow or green where are the other colors you are not feeding the 100% nutrition and no nutritionist can tell you what is a perfect nutrition for today based on your emotional condition because your digestive system itself will throw out or take in based on the situation based on your moods based on your stress levels so the so called the energy or the myth of the food right we don't know what's happening to us so be aware so i eat you know i have been practicing one meal a day from last 11 12 years like most of the time i am one and a half meal like from 3 4 years i have been like that before that i was one meal a day 
and almost like one year I was one mil, two, two million a week. That's how I was. No, hunger is again a mental. Right? I'll tell you about that. The hunger is the so-called mind. Right? So, I can easily skip my meal or I can take a meal because always I am empty. <laughs> Stomach-wise. Right? So, that's how it is. And so, what happens here is, if you look at this, what is this? Solar system, right? So, what is the center of the solar system? Sun. Sun is the core of the solar system, isn't it? And all the planets and all the satellites are revolving around it. So, are they, how are they connected? How are they under the influence of the sun? It is by the gravitational pull. That is called, a, we can call magnetic and electric product of it, right? So, gravitational has two wings to it, right? One is electric and magnetic part of it. So, it is all under the influence of the sun. Earth is revolving around the sun because anything that is growing on earth, the living beings, if the sun is not there, what happens to us? If the sun goes off, wiped off, right? So, can you imagine, are you, are you putting a cable to sun and drawing all the energy? No? Are you sure? We are not putting any cable, right? So, anything and everything that is growing and coming and all the birth process, all the energy process, all the creation here is happening wirelessly from sun. Can you imagine? So, the so-called physical food, what we are eating is also grown because of that. And sun is free. 24 bar 7. Right? So, the entire system here is that solar system. So, what do you see here? Atomic structure. Okay. All these so-called walls, any stone, any water particles, it's all atomic structure. So, if you look at the atomic structure also, it has a nucleus inside it and it has electrons and protons. Negatively charged particles and positively charged particles and there is a nucleus that is called neutron. Right? Uh, there is a neutron there and that is a, nothing but a replica of the solar system. I told you one drop of blood, right? One drop of blood is nothing but a reflection of the whole system in your body. Similarly, one atom is nothing but a replica of the solar system. If I break the atom, it becomes a nuclear bomb. How many atoms we have? How many bombs are we carrying? We don't know that, right? We don't know the power of a bomb. We don't know the power of an atom. So, we have already the energy, but we are unrealized to that. So, what is this? The cellular structure in the body, the biological cellular structure, even that has a nucleus inside it. Right? And if the nucleus fails, the cell is dead. If the nucleus in the cell is broken or it fails, then the cell becomes dead. So, that becomes, if it is not excreted or removed out of the system, it becomes cancer, cancerous, right? It is, becomes a rowdy cell in the body, right? So, that is how it is. So, if you look at the solar system, the atom structure and the cellular structure, everything is one, right? And that is called Jivatma. The cell is called Jivatma. And we have uh, trillions of cells in our body and that energy to the system is given by me. Just like the solar system, it is flowing through each one of us. And I am the sun in this body. This is again like a galaxy. My body itself is like a galaxy. If you expand my body, if I all expand our body system, like how we expand the space, you can see similar space between sun and the earth. That much of space is there and then everything is like, a, it looks like a, uh, if, you, if you look at like from the eyes of an amoeba, if they look at my body, it looks like a constellation. It looks like a one galaxy. They can see light in each cell. Right? So, that is how the body structure also is. It is replica of the same space, what I see outside my body, outside my space, outside my earth, if I see what is the whole universe, the same thing is there in my body, replicated. Yes, sir? Yes. 
that is what exactly what uh, we have the wisdom already in our vedas right so but that just that you know we don't experience it but meditation okay when we go deep into us when we go contemplate within us you can even sense how a cell is dying you can sense the pain of a cell and even sense the pain of the birth of a cell when it pops up that is how macro cosm you can get into right and it is really possible and it depends on how sensitive you become to your like say i'll just give you an example so can you all hold your hands on your lap like this and feel what happens at the center of your palm hold your hand at the on your lap and feel what is happening on center of your palm relax it and feel what is happening at the center of your palm you feel some sensation center of your palm some sensation if you observe deeply you will feel the sensation right some pulling some sensation some burning some heat some cold right some pain so when you focus here you can all the time you did not focus now what happened you started focusing on it what happens you can sense the cellular activity you can sense the blood flow you can control the blood flow isn't it so same way wherever the mind goes wherever my consciousness goes wherever my focus goes that starts illuminating that starts lightening up right so that is a one way of looking what food is all about i am just giving an alternate thinking process i am not trying to push you this is right this is wrong but i am telling you i am trying to demystify food technology i am trying to demystify what food is why we are eating food for right don't i want you to get out of the fear of not eating something which is required the whole nutrition system itself is a is a myth <laughs> right <laughs> okay so let me talk about this breatharianism right breatharianism is a concept where people live on the breath or the prana shakti right prana shakti means i as a soul has i am the source of the complete nutrition because i am a combination of seven colors if i am tapping the seven colors that i have within me i can give perfect nutrition to all the chakras right that is what i was saying the all the seven chakras white light i am the source of the light i am the light i am controlling this body and i am the source of it if i can know my capability my energy system my capability my powers my energy system i can feed my body completely i can nourish the body completely right and the food i eat now whatever i am living from last 11 years right for me it's i know for sure that i am eating for my pleasure i know i am eating out of greed or i am not eating out of necessity right it is an experience right because i have experimented like that on myself right so what happens is prana contains you can all read this prana contains all the element that the creation needs to be manifested our body is a manifestation of the prana that means i told you about the sun the sun is giving the source and that is manifesting lot of things on the earth planet and so many other planets right so the similarly i as a prana i am the sun in my this body and it has all the necessary requirements that just like the sun is giving to the earth i also have every capability to give whatever is required in my body system to recover everything out of anything right so i can catalyze or transform from anything to anything energy can be transformed from anything to anything right so uh, in terms of nutritional value it has then all but i would like to clarify that in practice pranic state the vitamins proteins and all of that are irrelevant they don't exist we have only given the name <laughs> isn't it you are only given the name the names are nothing but inserting more worms in your brain <laughs> to give you the lag to give you the deficiency syndrome right so it is an illusion created for marketing to make a business with the idea for need for food based in the illusion of the separation right so we are all separated from my own source we are all separated from my own treasures that i have who am i right 
it is a very very powerful phenomena right very very powerful concept for us to understand right so it is very very important right camilla is a breatherian she is if you google it you can find camilla and akai and camilla so they are the breatherian so there is a lady who there i will talk about that now right so if you see about this person have you all heard about this person before anyone has heard about him iraratan manek okay so he is a uh, he he gazes the sun right he is a yogi who uh, discovered this uh, sun gazing technique and what happened is when he started doing the sun gazing he started with 10 seconds gazing every day and then uh, every day he used to increment it by 10 days 10 seconds and by the time he reached 270 days he was gazing almost 44 minutes and then he lost the appetite for eating food and every cell in the brain started to become like a solar cell every cell in the body also became like a solar cell like a nucleus i told you right every cell is a nucleus has a nucleus so every nucleus becomes vibrant like a sun it becomes charged and becomes a replica of the solar system which i am living in because if i am living in a solar system that means every cell here should become a replica of that solar system it's just like blood in your body isn't it so blood in your entire body doesn't change right it is the same characteristics same way uh, everything that you know what he did is when he started losing his appetite the first time he did a fasting of 211 days under complete medical supervision and he was completely monitored 24 bar 7 his urine his uh, stools and his eating uh, drinking everything nothing was there and next time he fasted was 411 days in 2000 to 2001 in ahmedabad right so this is a person and he is still living and he has been observed by nasa and astronauts have studied how about like what happens is when the people go into space right the astronauts even they eat you know they feel very uneasy because it there's no gravity there the digestion process does not work because without much gravity and they want to pass the stools and they want to urine it everything it becomes a nuisance actually too much of a actually an uneasy situation for them so they are want to teach them how to live without food right they are studying this system now right so you can see that thing and this is again a breatherian couple right i was talking about akahi and camila here right so she is a lady and the person here akahi they are a breatherian couple they hardly eat food once in a while they may take a fruit bite here and there or socialize take a wine or juice but they don't use uh, food for survival right and this lady when she was pregnant she only had i think three meals in the whole of pregnancy and her hemoglobin level was the best the kid also is a breatherian but they also eat when they want to socialize okay so it is not a myth it is reality right you can you can you can uh, research more on this actually i was inspired by this couple when i started exploring uh, f- you know uh, foodless living in 2009 i wanted to be a breatherian but i actually came back to normal level like you know one meal a day for 8 years i practiced one meal a day right and uh, because i don't want to go to, because our path is a middle path pssm the concept is go into the middle path don't do extreme right don't do extreme left don't be a complete foodie don't be completely un or without food right so balance like we i we, we we say right one meal a day is a yogi two meal a day is a bogi three meal a day is a yogi so i am mostly between the yogi and bogi i switch over between these two things uh, three meal a day is very very rare i don't even remember it may be couple of times in a year i would have even had 3 meal a day right i can't hardly imagine because my system is adapted to this completely right so this lady and this gentleman right and the kid right so they are all uh, breatherians right and there is another lady i have met jasmohin right i have met her couple of times she comes used to come regularly but now uh, for many years she has not come because of all the reasons uh she is again started to be a breatherian since 93 right she doesn't eat food and uh, maybe rarely she takes some coffee or say take some water or just for socializing 
people have to take, but not for necessarily to feed the uh, body system, right? So why I am talking this, right? Why I am talking this is because we are all caught up thinking that you know we are surviving only because of our food. We are all surviving only because of we are eating, and we are so afraid or frightened about the nutrition system. Right? What if I don't eat uh, carbon? What if I carbohydrates? What if I don't eat fiber? What if I did, don't eat nutrient? This vitamin A, B, C, D, Z. Right? So all of these worms are in our brain. So today, for me, you know, food is a pleasure. Food is indulgence. Food is socializing. Enjoy it. That's it. Don't worry about what is that you are really, you know. Uh, you know how much because as i told you you are not eating all seven colors are you all eating seven colors so there's no balance of nutrition at all in your system first so you should forget about it because you cannot manage it that way and even if you take all the seven colors you cannot get all the nutrition benefit to your body because it is again psychosomatic based on your psychological situation mental condition you can either take the nutrition from it absorb it or it will completely throw out of your body right it is all the catalyst and all the you know the the so called the radical cells in the body right and also the cholesterol and all the other things that generates it's all because of the mental stress that we generate right that's how it is all happening in the body system right so what i am saying is how many of you have done fasting here fasting fasting for 24 hours fasting for 24 hours how many of you have done 24 hours fasting fasting means not eating fruits not eating taking juices okay only drinking water how many of you have uh, stayed in 24 hours just by drinking water right okay very good so how many of you have fasted for more than 2 days 2 days 2 days 2 days 3 days ha huh? 10 days okay wow Seven days. Ah, uh, eight months. Okay. Yes. So, ah, uh, like you did fasting for ten days, and she did for seven days. So, how are you feeling? You feeling very light and happy? Twenty-one days. Wow. So, how are you feeling at that time? <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Okay. So, how many of you have acidity issues, gastric and acidity issues? Hyperacidity. Wonderful. Acidity, gastric issues. Okay. So, you see the other side of it. So, the problem is we all have got a um, hypnosis that. if you don't eat food on time if you don't eat every day if you don't eat that much of quantity what happens to you you get acidity you get high acid reflux you get chronic ulcers so what happened to him 21 days <laughs> who are you <laughs> everyone is a god here right you are the god for your own system you are the master for your system you are the supreme being who is controlling every single jeevatma in your body right so we just that we don't know that system right now right so it is very very important like say this there are so many people who are suffering from chronic ulcer and acidity here at the same time one person is living on 21 day fasting and he is 10 10 days fasting 7 days fasting so they started feeling better lighter happier right why i am asking that because i have gone through that process i could start feeling lighter and lighter when i actually uh, gave up much of my physical food layer i started feeling more energetic and i could reduce my sleep cycle to one and a half hour one hour a day right so that's how it was and it is easy but just that we need to put some practice to it but the only thing what i wanted to like say i i compared both the things here right one was called as fasting 
the other one is called starving so whatever you call the acidity levels here right it is because of starving whatever the energy it gave it is called fasting both are what physically both are what physically both are empty stomachs mentally they are 180 degree phase shift you understand so whoever is not able to eat food on time what is the instruction command to your body you should give what is the command you should give to your body i am fasting i don't want to eat food now and if you want to eat food and if you are not eating that becomes starving but if you say any of i am empty stomach i cannot have food now give a command to your body every cell in the body obeys you lift your hands so why did you lift ha huh? why did you lift you gave instructions so yeah. no one told that i told you to lift <laughs> so this whole hand is a constellation of cells in the body all the cells have listened to your command isn't it same way it is as easy as that to control your appetite also when you are not able to eat on time don't struggle don't starve tell you are fasting to yourself very very easy and you will become more energetic you are become more detoxed you remove all the toxins remove all the undigested food and undigested toxins in your body will all be taken out it will all be flushed out so that is where the difference is between fasting and starving and I, i think you all understood it well because one among you are part of the starving one among you are part of the fasting so the fasting is giving you more energy more recharged of the system and one side the starving has given you lot of suffering isn't it so i when i started my journey on this experimenting right i uh, had suddenly impulsively decided that i'll start fasting i'll start doing uh, going towards breatherism so suddenly when i used to smell some food what happens masal dosa ah <sighs> my empty my stomach is empty when you smell masal dosa what happens to you immediately you will start mapping yourself okay i have eaten masala dosa all that the texture of alu the masala the ghee the batter you know it smells wow awesome wow so what happens immediately the command is given to your thermal plant it will start generating acids next moment i'll say keep quiet i am not eating now i just melt it that's all <laughs> then okay baba i'll listen to you i'll not produce acidity now the acids will get quenched so i have seen that i have taken the food even in a, my plate and i have dropped it side by left it there and within 5 minutes i can feel the burning stomach changing into a stomach with ice cream that became so cool it is easy possible for us right so it is very very easy to control all the there are so many victims of acidity today there are so many victims who are suffering from acid reflux so many victims suffering because chronic ulcers and all these things and they take pills right they take a pill just like that you know they are just eating like some chocolate right so that's how it has become so next time when you have this problem you just have to command yourself that i am fasting it's easy then uh, the body system changes completely opposite side right it's very very important and also what happens is you know it is uh, i also recommend right so it gives you higher energy levels increases your will power it detoxes yourself and you will get a lot of mental and physical strength and you will build up your spiritual quotient also right there's a lot of benefit because of fasting and i practice at least complete fasting once in a week now since many years and gandhi ji used to practice one week every monday used to be a fasting day and anything that he wants to do satyagraha then used to anything that he wants to fight for anything the non violence way he was doing lot of fasting so it is to attract lot of positive energy right so fasting is very very important part of our culture in indian tradition so i recommend right so if uh, see uh, the best way to experiment is you know you can easily live in 2 meal a day 
three meals are not required. If you want more diseases, you can live with three meals. If you want to stay healthy till your last breath, switch over to one, one and a half meal, two meal, or one meal of raw food, one meal of cooked food. That is one of the best. I think you are living in that way, right? So you are feeling good about it. So I recommend that, you know, you join a club called a No Dinner Club. Lifetime free. Right? So, eat as per your need, not as per your greed. Yes, sir. They do fasting. Yes, yes. How about you? Sometimes. Yes. Yes, yes. So you have to always pre-plan, right? So when you come back from the office, suppose you want to skip your dinner, tell yourself mentally that, you know, today I'm not going to eat food. And also tell your uh, home also, at your home, tell them that, you know, let's not have dinner. Or, I'm not going to have dinner. I'm going to skip dinner, right? So there's no need uh, to have food to sleep. Anyhow, you can sleep, right? So there's no need to have Food to sleep on the bed, lie down on the bed. Dinner is a very bad practice, I would say. So, the second thing is, when you have lighter on the food, like say before 6, if you have a snack or a light food, then you can stretch for longer hours of meditation. That is what I have seen. When you are lighter on the stomach, you can stretch for longer hours of meditation. And both ways you are benefiting. One is because of fasting, you are detoxing your body. Because of more meditation, you are energizing and charging yourself, giving you more power to live on alternate energies. Today, it's all about electric era, right? Light era, electric era. So, a lot of cars you can see, the government is proposing all going electric. So, why are we still on thermal? We can also switch over to hybrid. Hybrid cars have come, right? It is reality, no more. Like, uh, now after five years, if you are running only a diesel and protocol, they'll see you like this. Senseless guy. No, you don't even know that you should not burn this sort of fuel and create pollution. Right? And the second thing is, the more we meditate, the less we think. The less we think, the less we eat. The less we eat, the less we breathe. The less we breathe, the more longevity. So it is an anti-aging formula. Meditation and fasting goes hand in hand. If you eat more, you want to breathe more because it has to, you need a lot of oxygen to digest it. You eat less, you breathe less. If you breathe less, you age less. You live longer, healthy, young. So for all the females, you want to look young? <laughs> so, <laughs> so all the men who want to look smart also, you have to think of it, right? So it's very, very important, you know, that I just want to summarize it, right? So I always say, switch over to two meal a day, max. Right? That's a very easy way to live. Uh, take it one step at a time. And now since you know the background of what I am talking, right? I am. I showed you some legends who are living without food at all. But to socialize, to balance our uh, worldly life, come to a middle path. Don't think that, you know, you are eating only because to you need the nutrition and all you want to survive. But it is more a myth. Because you don't know what is perfect nutrition for all the seven chakras. You are not eating all the seven colors, right? And whatever you are eating, it is out of your pleasure like Mirchi Bhaji. You are eating for your pleasure, your taste and tongue, texture. Like if you go to China, if I go to China, I only close my nose. Even if I am hungry, hunger will go away. Because that dish I don't even know. It smells like a rotten thing. Like a, this gutter, right? If you open a gutter, what happens? You run away. Same way they eat something called rotten tofu. So you, are, if you are cooking there, you will walk from here only. You don't even go that side. So... All our food eating habits are because of your mapping. If I have eaten kesari bath somewhere, the moment you smell it, you start generating acids. Bisi bade bath, the moment you smell it, start generating acid. So either you fall in the pit or you come out of the pit, it is in your hand. It depends on your consciousness. Right? So be mindful of it. Just get out of all the myths of nutrition, the so-called having that much quantity, this much quantity. You can go beyond it. We are all from spiritual science background, right? We can beat beyond that because just like solar system is controlling the whole of solar network, 
similarly i am controlling the whole body system i am the source of the energy right enjoy the food whatever you do so switch from uh, 3 to 5 meal to 2 meal a day right so believe in experience nutrition and health through pure energy if you tap into the purest form of energy you will be in perfect health that is for sure